Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to properly take a melting point using the Meltemp apparatus. To start, place some of your sample on a watch glass. Then, using your large glass rod, grind some of your sample. You don't need to grind all of your sample, as long as you have enough ground to fill a few millimeters of a capillary tube, that is enough. Continue grinding until your sample looks like a fine powder and you think you could get it into your capillary tube. This is a capillary tube. I have one open end and one closed end. Make sure you know which end you are using. Then, take your capillary tube and gently tap the open side onto the watch glass until you get a few millimeters of sample in the open end of your capillary tube. Once you have your sample in the tip of your capillary tube, you will want to get it to the end of your capillary tube. To do this, we use a dropping tube. Simply place your capillary tube at the top of the dropping tube and let it fall. Make sure that the closed end of the capillary tube is pointing down every time. Repeat this up to three times. until your sample is in the bottom few millimeters of the capillary tube. Now you are ready to put it in your metal temp apparatus. This is your metal temp apparatus. In order to use it, first ensure that it is plugged in. Then, turn it on using the switch. There are several temperature settings. In order to know which temperature setting to use, you must first know the theoretical melting point of the solid you are melting. This is the thermometer. Make sure it is on and then place it in the melt temp apparatus like so. Then take your capillary tube and place it in the machine. There are spots for up to three capillary tubes so you can do more than one melting point at once. Once everything is set up, you can look into the little window of the melt temp to see your sample. Be careful not to touch the unit, and check the thermometer every once in a while. This is the interior of the melt temp. As you can see, there are three chambers for up to three capillary tubes. Melting point is recorded as a range. You first record the temperature when you see the first drop of liquid appear, and then you record the temperature when the whole sample is liquid. Looking at the sample here, you can see that there are little tiny drops starting to be formed. However, we don't record the temperature until we see a distinct drop forming. You would record the first temperature now. Then, you record your second temperature of your range when all of the sample is turned to liquid. As you can see, there is still some solid in here. You would record the second melting point of your range now. When you are finished, Turn off the melt temp, turn the dial to zero, make sure your thermometer is off, and remove your capillary tubes. Finally, unplug the machine. You can place your used capillary tubes in the glass disposal. Now you know how to take a proper melting point using the melt temp apparatus. Good luck and have fun!